place of building the biggest mall in Africa. Yes, that's what I was just saying. It's building the biggest mall in Africa. Let me turn the camera like this. The biggest mall in Africa. So, for the people who don't know, we are in Nairobi, Kenya, the capital of Africa. And my name is Antala The Voice. And um, in the previous video, I was trying to explain to people like, you know, Somalis are Africans and Somalis are Kenyans. And by the way, there are many Somalis in Kenya as compared to those in Somalia. For some who don't know. So it's not like uh, it is a group of people who came here and uh, just started. I'm trying to cross here at the roundabout, the Kenyan style. All right. So I was telling people there is the possibility that there are many Somalis uh, in Kenya as compared to Somalia. The only problem they are having is that they don't have the IDs because of the challenges of being marginalized. But the Somalis are great people, amazing people, and they are the greatest merchants in Africa. That is so obvious, man. There is nothing that we can argue like this. You see this mall there? That is the biggest mall in Africa, man. It is still under construction. You can't imagine. So, my question comes. If these people, with all their challenges, they are able to accomplish this, just take, for example, if you give them support, the love, and don't, you know, segregate them, and make them feel like, you know, they're not like a part of Africa, what do you think they can be able to achieve? Are you thinking with me? So the first thing is that the Somalis is not like uh, they just came. They are part and parcel of Kenya. Most of them are in the northern part of Kenya. But here in Nairobi, you'll find them in this place. Like 90% of them are found, not 90, like 70, let's give it 70, will be found here. And what you're seeing here, is an accomplishment and a testimony of what they can do and what if given full chance full support let me tell you if given an opportunity i want you to listen to me. if given an opportunity somalia is going to be the biggest economy in africa that you can take it from me Take for example, just look in those countries that uh, they have been able to, you know, establish themselves. They're from there, you know, as expatriates. Look at the impact they have made in terms of commerce. Are you getting? It? And look what they have done. This is the BBS man. Look what they have done. This is the biggest mall in Africa, man. It is almost being com uh, completed. I know a few years ago in Kenya, the two rivers were the biggest mall um, in Africa, but that is going to change. This is the Nomad Paradise Hotel. What are you seeing here? So, take for example, imagine. Imagine that. Are you trying to think with me? Are you trying to follow me? They are the biggest merchants. That is, imagine somebody is going to you know want us to to make them feel like they're not part of africans and you know the people making the divisions actually are not africans but for we as africans to fall into that trap that will be our own mistake that will be our own mistake so just imagine we as africans when we come together and support our somali brothers being able to be people to provide solutions rather than complaining and you know segregating them and making them not to feel like they're not African enough imagine if you give them the support where is Africa going to be because let me tell you one thing you know the Western world or people who don't have that dream of Africa when they see us divided in this way, they do enjoy it. That one for sure. They do enjoy it. Because they know the moment 
when Africans are united, man will be the greatest superpower that the earth has never even seen or experienced. So imagine with the expertise of these uh, Somali people in business, you guys are very sure. Like Nairobi right now, we are talking about like in the city, like most of the businesses are no longer owned by the Indians like back before. It's moving to Somalis. And you know some people are quite un uh, uh, unhappy with that, complaining like, you know, um, complaining like uh, that is not good. No, you should know that, you know, these are our brothers and we should celebrate them in whatever way if they're making uh, things work, if they're making strides, if they're making, you know, an impact. We should be able to celebrate them as early as possible. Like, I can tell you, like, in Kenya right now, when you say the most millionaires, trust me, the Somali have got the most millionaires than any community in Kenya. So, instead of looking at them like, you know, they're not part of us, look at the impact they're having, uh, especially to our economy, which is so great. Some people not even be able to, you know, you can't imagine how these people are impacting our communities or are impacting our economy. We should know that. So, this is it, man. These people have taken over, like, look at Yisili, where most of them are found in the parts of Nairobi, or sometimes they go to South Sea. You can realize that their businesses are doing well because of that camaraderie, that Ubuntu. Actually, the Somali community teaches us more about Af Africans. They can be even a true definition of Africans because they have got that spirit of camaraderie, that spirit of Ubuntu, togetherness, even how they do their things, you know. They know how to support each other, something that the Western world has made us to feel like they're not, you know, Africans or they're not part of us. So. In the previous video, I hope you have watched that video and I say the Somalis have taken over the African city. Simply means, you know, they are part and parcel of Kenya and they should not feel like they're not part of this amazing country, Nairobi, Kenya, the capital of Africa, it's also their home. So I want to cross to that other side. It is a bit crazy here a bit you know there's a lot of traffic today being a monday uh as always nairobi is quite uh congested so let's cross the kenyan way man. so that's how you're doing it man it's crazy 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 so you want to go this way as i explained to you so imagine if we give them the full support man you know, the moment when uh, we, ha we are having this dream of African unity. So imagine right now when we ensure that uh, Somalia stabilizes with their expertise in business, then being, uh, you know, leaders in uh, merchandise or being good merchants, so you can be able, what, uh, that can be able to impact to the African economy. Yeah, can you imagine that? So right now, a good thing is that there are so many you know somalis all over around the world the one who left after you know the war in somalia uh, in 90s and we know who caused that war and who know actually who separated them we know the cause of why somalia is that way today then yet we are here saying we are africans then we don't support them and give them that motivation man we should wake up because the people who separate us are the ones who are enjoying this show when we don't unite. Look at this. When our brothers are doing good, they're doing good. Imagine being able to build the biggest mall in Africa. That's crazy, man. Able to build the biggest mall in Africa. Hey, man, that is something else. So, guys, we should wake up. So, this is easily. Last time I showed you, I want to cross. You know, it's a bit crazy here. And... Uh, chaotic a little bit uh, but we shall manage still Nairobi still amazing 
so this is it man that is the easily huduma center you can see when you see huduma center meaning where you can go get government services meaning people are getting government services right now in easily and you know things are getting better and better every day and we as kenyans also as africans also and every black black person in the world we should be able to support our somali brothers to become stable that's how we, we grow these are the vehicles going to garissa uh garissa is the northern part of kenya like mandera like you know yeah so on and so on so that has been beautiful we are in this roundabout as you can show 500 meters to um to huduma center next to that equity center you go that way but that has been amazing showing you the biggest mall in africa constructed by somali brothers man we should feel proud of them man. that's so amazing so guys continue subscribing liking commenting as always my name is Mtala the boys have a good day